Tis the season for holiday parties and get-togethers. The new Epicurious app can help you find dozens of drink options that will be the talk of your next gathering. Epicurious Digital Director Maggie Hoffman is here with three of her favorites. Good morning. Good to see you. All right, so what are some of the big trends that we're seeing this year? You know, everyone's into bitter drinks. The Spagliato is so hot right now. So what we have here for you are some real cocktails, but they're made without alcohol. Okay. You can serve them at your party, lets people pace themselves, lets people drink or not drink, up to them. Uh, bitter drinks mean sour? Is that what that means? No, I like so a some sweet of these drink. are what sour. That the bitter is like, like a Negroni. Uh, things that are that Italian aperitif style. Um, yeah. A lot of these are great for going with food or before you eat, get you hungry. Uh, you can get all your holiday snacks in the new Epicurious app and all of these drinks, plus lots of cocktails, so you can have a mix. Yeah. I Yo like doesn't it. drink. I don't you gotta drink. walk so her when through you, when some you, of these. I, That's exactly right. When you said bitter, Recipes. what does that mean? Aperitif, what does that mean? I, I really don't. So I like a sweet drink. Are any of these sweet drinks? They won't be just sweet, uh -huh. they'll be balanced, um, okay. but there is some fruit, you know, we have some pomegranate Fruity. juice in yeah, this like one that. and some cherry juice in this one. Um, and this one is sort of a fizzy soda that has a little bit of tart lemon, okay. lime, but also fennel. So, it so has you want to walk us through? Fennel walk us through, yeah. Maggie. Yeah, can we, can we try it as you talk Let's about it? Let's try it as we talk. Okay, okay. this one. What do, we, what do we have here? Mm. So this is a soda that's not too sweet, a uh -huh. little bit tart. You make a quick syrup with herbs and fennel, and then it has lemon juice, lime juice, club soda, super easy. <laughs> I, I've, I've, made, I've made a drink for Gail before, and uh, she went on a little more sugar. Yeah, yeah, I know, I, know. Like I do, I like yeah. sweet. That's you good. make a little syrup ahead of time so you can always add more to your taste. Mm -hmm. All right, next up we have, looks like a goblet of wine here, but what is it really? So it's a little I think it's bit... nice, it looks like an adult drink. Yeah. yeah. In a proper glass, I like, and it's warm, this no. is warm. Yeah, so this is like a mulled wine, but without okay. alcohol. Oh, okay. And it gets its Ooh. flavor from a smoky tea, Lapsang Souchong tea, yeah. and then tart cherry juice. I like that. You yeah. can keep that warm in your slow cooker through the whole party, yeah. and you always have an option for everyone. And no one's going to be asking you, oh, you're not drinking tonight? You can just, you know. Exactly. It looks, it fits right in. It's none of their business. You can say I have an adult beverage. Yeah. yeah. Right. You can play it off. And what but about listen, this right I'm, I'm the one at the party saying, can you make Shirley Temples? I just asked someone last night. Mm -hmm. And I said, and you can make it sweet with the grenadine. You can give me extra grenadine. I'm that guy. <laughs> and now you have so, lots of This options. is a new education for me. This so, is fabulous. What about, it feels like something Yeah. What 20s. is this one, Maggie? So this is called Life of the Party. It's from bartender Natasha David. Mm -hmm. And this is sort of the cutting edge of not like drinks, right? Oh, I, I like so this. So it has this one I do like. cinnamon syrup, uh -huh. and it has pomegranate juice and a little bit of non-alcoholic sparkling wine plus a non-alcoholic aperitif called Gia. Okay, there's one I can drink right here. Very good, I like yeah. This, one. <sighs> this is terrific. Now, if uh, if you have a certain kind of uncle that has a flask in his pocket and he wants to mix in, maybe <laughs> maybe not with this one, but with these two. Go for it. Yeah? Anything yeah. you would recommend? Uh... Yeah, so I would probably go with gin, maybe on both of these, because those herbal flavors will go will match perfectly with the herbal flavors in here. Is this a trend you're seeing, though? More people are coming to parties saying, I don't really want to Sober drink. Sober Curious is huge. Sober, we have, we have it wine is a stores thing. in my neighborhood, and we now have a non-alcoholic drink shop. Absolutely. Yeah. And there's so many new products that make it quicker to make non-alcoholic drinks. Like this one, it tastes really complicated, but it's super easy to make. But why do you think that's happening, Maggie? You know, so, sometimes yeah. people need a night off. Uh -huh. Sometimes people are trying to work out in the morning, a little mm -hmm. more balance. Yeah. Um, Some people anchor morning shows really yeah. early. <laughs> and sometimes you just get tired of the peer pressure, and you want to play it off and act right. like you're drinking, but you're really not. And maybe it's a long party. Yeah, you're right about that. Yeah. Maggie Hoffman, thank you so much. Now, if you want to make these drinks at home, visit our CBS Mornings Facebook and Twitter pages for the recipes.